Scarce in history, rich with a beautiful staircase. The chateau is one of the more interesting ones we have come across, with two very different faces. The first mention of the chateau in the records is from the mid-1300s. It is located in a village of 300 inhabitants in Lorraine, northeastern France. The castle currently has a central rectangular plan with two short wings at right angles on the east façade and two circular turrets in the corners. The west façade is still framed by two round towers on the corners. The symmetrically ordered east façade has three levels of seven bays, with a slightly protruding central avant core surmounted by a triangular pediment. The low arched lintel windows are underlined by a band. The key to the front door is decorated with a rockery pattern, and the tympanum bears the coat of arms, probably those of the family. However, the present structure on the site is 16th century. Ownership of the chateau changed hands many times over the decades, moving between families. The details are possibly not too interesting unless you enjoy long lists of names and dates. It is believed that one wing was maintained for several years while the other was left to decay. with floors collapsing and plaster crumbling. In between these two wings, lies the beautiful spiral staircase. In 2019, the property was listed for sale at 1,059 euros and later reduced to 735,000 euros. The listing reads as follows. The magnificent Lorraine Castle of majestic architectural quality is located in the village less than 15 minutes from Metz, not far from the Lorraine TGV station and the airport. It is a real jewel of the regional heritage, typical of the belt of castles surrounding Metz in the 18th century. It has its origins in the Middle Ages and some contributions from the Renaissance. Its rather sophisticated façade overlooks a magnificent garden of around 60 acres. The interior dates from the Age of Enlightenment and offers a quality property complex deserving of a real restoration project of the same taste. Not being the object of any protection under the Historic Monuments Act, it is possible to make many projects of rehabilitation. It is believed to have sold, and restoration work has begun. 